Avian Seas, I actually got it. Holy shit, let's go, man. Ah, uh, the final place. The final big boy boss. I want to test out the, uh, the Elder Staff on. Oh my goodness. 231 as well. That's a big one. That is very big. Yes, 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 boys. Can't wait to test it out. Test out the staff over there. So on the last episode, if you didn't watch it, I highly recommend you check it before uh, going too deep into this video. But anyways, we actually got our first ever orb at Nightmare. It was the Eldritch Orb. It took like 300 plus hours for this goddamn thing. But anyways, the Eldritch Nightmare Staff is quite interesting because it's arguably the best prayer restore spec in the entire game, surpassing the SGS by like a mile. Because essentially, you can heal like 30 plus prayer back sometimes with a spec. And uh, I've had the luxury to test it out a few places that it's still relevant to me for like pen hunting stuff like Dagonoth Kings and the Inferno previously in the, in the other video. At Dagonoth Kings, it was freaking amazing, dude. The amount of prayer that I got back was just unbelievable. You know, never seen anything like it. Uh, test out the Inferno. Um, it didn't feel too crazy over there. It just kind of felt like another SGS, but need more testing over there. But anyways, we got this Armadale task and I think it has a lot of potential there because I feel like for experienced players, most of the time they have to leave Arma is because they run out of prayer since the boss doesn't drop any prayer. But the Elder Staff can get you so much prayer back and you also can't use something like an SGS to get your prayer back. So, and it might help me out a ton for the Armadale pet grind. All right, very excited to go and do some Armadale. So setup is pretty much the same. Uh, I'm just gonna go with the t only setup. Now, this thing, this staff here should, in theory, you know, get me some more prayer back because, like, before I only used blowpipe specs. So now I can switch between blowpipe specs and uh, nightmare staff specs. So the idea is if I have a lot of food from, like, you know, the minions or something and I just need to blow through them, I'm not going to waste my spec on the blowpipe. I'm just going to use the uh, nightmare staff spec and get prayer back instead because, yeah, usually what I have to leave is usually down to prayer towards the end if it's a good trip. So. So it's gonna be a balance between Nightmare Staff spec and Bullfight specs, probably. Let's try it out. How much prayer do I get back? Yay, 73. Feels good. Alright, Elder Staff is working okay. Alright, well this task is going really good so far. I just haven't needed to use my Bullfight spec at all, so I've just been using Elder Staff so far. Really nice. If the setup's right and I'm trying to conserve some food, I might just also heal on the minions in the middle of the boss fight. Sometimes it comes in really handy, especially if I get bad RNG and I just run out of food, but I have a lot of prayer. So yeah, I can actually uh, keep myself alive without food. There you go, I got this setup properly. Now I can actually heal. Ah, beautiful. That was great. Gotta love the three-way heals, man. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to use the Elder Staff at Armadale. So for the target to use the spec on, it's definitely going to be the range minion because it has the lowest magic defense of the lot. So that's definitely the prime target. When do I spec it though? So the best time I've figured out is to spec when the range minion is about to be dead. So when it's extremely low HP. Because the spec works the same way like the SGS. So let's say the minion has like 5 HP. If I was to theoretically hit a 60, it won't show a 60 though, but if I were to, it would still heal me as if I hit a 60. So I would have gained 30 prayer points back. So in this clip, you're gonna see me hit the minion at low HP, but I'll still heal way bigger than what the HP damage showed. And the reason why I would spec it right when it's about to be dead is because I want to heal up my HP with the uh, initial HP that the range minion has with Blood Barrage. So that way I can get the most HP back using Blood Barrage on the range band and also maximize my prayer recovery using the Elder Staff. So that way I kill two birds with one stone, get HP and prayer back. I think that's the best time to use the Elder Staff. It's just right before the Ranger dies because he has the least magic defense. Also want that prayer back, bitch. Give me my prayer back. Alrighty, last kill of this trip. Uh, so I think this is kill number 27 or 28. So that's crazy, man. I didn't even one take flick at all. 
Keep in mind, I was using a German world because I couldn't find any worlds open. And I live in the US, so the ping was really bad. So I did not do any sort of one ticking during the boss fight. I usually do a lot of the times, which conserves a lot of prayer, but I could not conserve prayer at all. And I'm very impressed because I almost got 30 kills using the Eldritch stat spec. And I could really only do that if I one tick a lot in a good world. So very impressed that I could actually do that even without the one ticking. The Elder Staff is definitely looking super good here at Armadillo. Nice. I had left over spec, so I didn't want to waste my spec that was going to come back from regen. Gosser Shard. Interesting. Interesting, eh? First drop, I guess. Alright, this might be the end of the task. Unless... Oh, nope. It didn't proc. Okay, well, I just did my first Armadale task with Elder Staff, and it is absolutely amazing here, dude. The many times that I thought I was just gonna run out of prayer and just end the trip hella short, nope. As soon as I got some food back, I was able to spam Eldritch Staff spec and just keep getting prayer back, so it was crazy. I still have one restore left, so... You know what I mean? It's actually insane. And I had a really, really rough trip as well, and I still managed to conserve enough prayer to make it all the way through, so... Absolutely freaking certified, bro. Just as good like at DK's pretty much, so super nice. Looking forward to more armor tasks. Now that I am no longer doing Nightmare every single day because we are mostly done with the goals there, I thought I'd show you guys my RuneCraft experience because I do a ton behind the scenes for like Scythe previously before Maze and also the Sang Staff for Nightmare. We're at almost 18 million RuneCraft experience. No pet by the way, that's crazy. Let me show you guys my Crystal Math Labs. So as you can see, around the second month of this year, my RuneCraft experience shot up through the freaking roof here from 13.2 all the way to now and that's approximately when nightmare started around here that is approximately like 220,000 blood runes i think so it's a crazy amount did that all just for freaking nightmare dude all right so we got dark my release which means the new quest and the new city Right there, Darkmire. So this part we couldn't access before. Now we can access all of it, I, I suppose. But yeah, let's finish the quest and start uh, talking about some of the things I want from it. How far did they roll us back? I, I don't know, like the 13 minutes that it was live the first time, I think. So I must have lost some runecrafting experience. Nani? Dang it, I was at 18 mil, bro. So this place I'm showing you is a throwback from the past because this place exists in the original runescape even though it's new in old school. So this dungeon used to have the blood rune altar but yeah that's in Zayn in old school so it's probably not here. But yeah you see these blood veils here they're the mutated ones and you can cannon these it's multi. So I'm really digging the nostalgic vibes that the Dartmire city has because it's very similar to one in our street and I'm completely okay with it because um, they said they wanted to keep the lore as similar to each other as possible between both games so i'm cool with that but uh, at the same time though obviously uh, there's some differences in terms of the content that's available but yeah very nostalgic dude very nostalgic let's go is that it did we do it eight rounds yo yo just get out of here bro oh shit okay so i thought we were gonna fight lord draken but we actually finished it oh my god that was easy it wasn't that easy but it took a little while Besides getting the quest cave back as reward, I've unlocked two really cool things from Darkmire. The first one is the blood shard that I can use to make the blood fury. Uh, I'm going to be testing it in a later video at Corporal Beast, which I'm very excited for. And the next big one is the Hollow Sepulchre, the best agility XP arena in the game. It's pretty damn difficult from what I've seen. But yeah, the rewards from there is worth it for me because I want to recolor my Graceful to the dark one, only available there. And also I want to get the Ring of Endurance, the best stamina ring in the game. So we'll talk more about that as we uh, delve more into that content. Yes! I unlocked all the music tracks back. Now I can use my uh, music cable. Oh, oh, Samurai Gloves. Wait, am I done? Did I just finish my Samurai, bro? No, I didn't. God damn it, bro. Every time. So I'm getting ready for the sepulchre and you know grind the marks to buy the rewards that I was talking about but I need to kill these guys first to get some uh, vampire dust because some of the rooms 
in order to get to requires them. So I'm just going to stock up on like 200 or something and then go. So let me show you guys the rewards that you can get using the Harl Marks from the Sepulchre. So most of these are things that you can buy to help you with the agility course. These hollow items. Uh, these two here uh, are the dies. So this one's for the squirrel pet. I don't got that. And this one's for the graceful. So you need one of these for each piece. So if you want all six pieces done, you need 1800 marks as they are 300 marks a piece. I only need five because I'm not getting the cape since I'm using mask cape. So I need 1500. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, that's a lot, man. That's a lot. People are saying, you know, it could be like a 20-hour grind or a 30-hour grind. It just depends on how good you end up getting at the Sepulchre and how fast you get good at it. Because, yeah, it's very skill-based from what I've seen. I brought a decent setup. This is probably all the stuff you need. Uh, this is like the typical gear, I think. This is way more complicated than running uh, in rooftops, you know. But, yeah, I'm excited, though. This is pretty interesting. Oh, I'm so close. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it, boys. I almost had it. I almost had it, dude. Oh, oh my God. This shit's fucking hard. <laughs> Holy shit. This is the hard part, eh? Okay. All right. This is the hard part. Holy crap. Yo, this is hard. Wait, what the fuck? I just walk through them. So at the time of this video, the agility course has some minor bugs, which can cause some problems. Like the flames that you saw earlier, they can be 0.6 seconds behind from their usual animation timer. Woo! Nice, bro. I'm getting good at this uh, last part on 4-3. Oh, man. Trying to get your brain to juggle between uh, dodging flames and dodging arrows. Not an easy task, bro. Not an easy task, but we finally completed this on time. Okay, time to get f***ed on this one. 4-4, four, four, first time getting here. Yes! Uh... Oh my god, we're gonna make this on time? Yes, first time completing 4-4 four, four and getting the marks. Okay, that's a little cocky, but I heard 4-5 was like ridiculously hard. So there are coffins throughout the sepulchre that you have to loot in order to get the uh, hollow marks and of course the fabled stamina ring which can only be looted from the last coffin in the fifth floor and you have to reach it on time. So it's very difficult right now uh, for me to uh, reach floor 5 on time. It's going to require a lot of practice but that is my goal. So I just got a strange old lockpick and this is very interesting because I can use it to bypass doors I normally can't go through at the Barrows minigame. I think it also works in the Sepulchre as a lot pick, so that's cool as well. I, I'm definitely getting this ring. What this ring does is, if I fail a course in the Sepulchre, I take zero damage. And right now, if you fail a course, you get penalized by being stunned for like a few seconds. So having this ring on also reduces the stun time, which means I, I can get back into the action faster. So. So I no longer have to use food for the Sepulchre and also the time that I save from the obstacles using this ring is going to be massive because it will increase the chance of me completing 4 or 5 on time. No! Holy shit, did I just make it on time? I'm not going to be able to loot this one, but... Four freaking seconds, bro. Holy shit, I literally just made it on time. Yes, I'm happy, dude. We finally cleared four or five on time with one freaking second of spirit. Let's go. All right, I'm done for the day, but that, that's what I wanted. Goal completed. Yo, am I going to make it on time? I'm going to make it on time this time. Wait, I actually have a lot of time. Holy shit, we're actually going to have so much time left that I'm going to open this coffin. So the Dark Graceful is probably going to take me over 20 hours to get just because I'm only getting like 50 to 70 marks an hour currently at my experience level but you can get over 100 plus once you get really good at this content. You get like floor 5 consistently down on time. And as for the ring, no idea how long that's going to take but I've seen people getting the rings uh, decently often if they're able to consistently complete floor 5. So once I can do that then the ring is probably something in sight. If you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely consider giving it a like. But anyways, 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I do have a French chat, so if you guys need a place to hang out, definitely consider joining ours at Mr. Iron Bar. And also, consider subscribing. That way you won't miss on future videos. And if YouTube content isn't enough, I do stream all of my live progress on Twitch as well. So consider visiting us on twitch.tv slash Anyways, I will see you guys soon with another video. Take care and bye-bye.